Hey guys. Okay. So, I totally forgot. I mentioned in the last video that I am going to show you how to do this the easy way as well, which is going to be very much like how Windows works. So, what we're going to do here is we are actually going to go through. It's, it's easier if the first method didn't work for you, which I hope it did. Um, then then you can try this method but this is just to show you how you can get this thing done much easier than what I had shown you earlier um, again the benefit of the other way is you should get your hands dirty um, and and kind of understand how the the terminal works so if that didn't work for you I'm gonna do it again it'll be simpler it'll be more like how Windows works um, and if the first one did work for you and you're content with what you have there, then by all means, feel free to skip this video. So I went and did a search on Damn Vulnerable Web Application. I hit the link that shows uh, their main page that brings me here, explains the application, and then the download button. So we are going to save this file. Hit OK. I don't even know where this is going. It's probably going to the download folder. OK. So let's see where it went. See, this is why I don't like this. Remember how the other one was? It was so easy. GitHub, you're done. Or, um, okay, so I'm going to check out here it is, okay? So we're going to cut it out of here, put it back on our desktop, make it somewhat similar to the last exercise that we did. Paste, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extract it. So extract to, Right now, if you did extract here, it would have just actually, you know what? We could do extract here because it's a folder contained within a folder. So let's just do that. Extract here. Okay. But <clears throat> for the sake of redoing this and not breaking anything, what we're going to do is we're going to call this. DVWA2. Okay? So everything that you need is in here. Same exact thing, guys. Okay? We've downloaded it. We've extracted it. We know where it's going to run. And just in case you've forgotten, I'll show you again. We're going to go to other location. We're still going to use Apache to run this bad boy. So Etsy, Apache 2, sites enabled, default. <clears throat> Again, it's still going to run here. Okay, You can actually change this to have it run wherever you want. So we're going to take that folder and we're going to plop it in there. So let's just cut. See how this is just like Windows, but it's, I don't know, I'm lazy. I don't like doing things, so I just find it easier through the other method. So we're saying var, dub, 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 HTML. Now, the DVWA folder from the last exercise is still there, but it's okay because we've named this DVWA2. So the only difference is when we fire up or try to fire this up, we're going to take it to... 127.0.0.1 and we're going to have to say it's in DVWA2. So, let's try that. Okay. So, again, 127.0.0.1 um, DVWA2, remember that? And now we're going to do index.php you're going to get the same error about the configuration file, but just to reconfirm that we're at least in the right folder, we know that the text file works, so let's see. 
Okay, so right where we were last time. So text file works, and the next thing we need to do is make that modification. PVWA2. Remember we did the MD function last time. In here, you're simply going to take this, rename it, and take the disk off. Seems easier, but I don't know. I like the other method better. So let's go back here. Now let's do index.php. And there you go. So again, same deal, right? Now the problem is uh, Apache still or MySQL is still running. So let's stop that to show. Um, as if we're starting over, right? So unfortunately, you do have to go to the terminal for this. Which, well, but this is good, right? <clears throat> I told you that you need to make sure that if you're starting services, you need to stop services. So this is how you do it. So service, Apache, to stop. Simple. And it's going through the process in the back end to do the stopping. So that's done. Now let's do service Apache 2 status. And you'll see up here that it's inactive. Okay, it's dead. Okay, now the other thing I want to do is uh, stop the MySQL. So service MySQL stop. You know, you can actually do both of them together, right? So I'll show you how, how we do that. So once this is done, the next step will be service MySQL status. And this will also tell me that it's inactive and dead, right? So control C, let's get out of here. Now going back here, this should not work at all. As a matter of fact, robots.txt. Oh, that works. Wow, that's interesting. So PHP should not work. Okay, because the service is not running. Okay, the text file is running because it's simply reading the text file. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start them up, but we're going to start them up together. Okay, we're going to do service, Apache 2. You know, I can't spell, guys. You didn't sign up for this course for spelling. I'm sorry. Apache 2, start, and double ampersand, service, MySQL, start. And this is going to kick off both of the services at the same time. Okay, there it goes. So we're not going to do both of them again. I, I think you guys get the hint, but we'll just do a status on Apache and you'll see it's active and running. So let's go back here. We started up our web server. We started up our MySQL database. And now this should work. It better work. It may work. I hope it works. There we go. Okay. So. That's it. Um, you know, it, it is going to be looking for the other username and password. I don't know why it's not making me create it, but in the event that it needs to create it, you're going to do the same exact process of creating a MySQL account. So that's it, guys. We are exactly where we were with the last video. We have 10 minutes less, which is pretty cool. So now in the next video that I'm going to create, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about each of these vulnerabilities and we should be good to go um, the only thing here that is missing though is the dvwa it is back to default which is impossible make sure you make it low and work your way up so i'll see you guys in the next video okay see ya